sharing an empties video. It's been about a month-ish since I've shared an empties video. It was actually the last video I filmed, but my bag is filled up. I've had some bigger items this month, so I thought I would go ahead and share with you guys some of the things that I finished up recently and my thoughts on them, whether I'd repurchase them or not. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with makeup products first. So the first thing that I finished up was a Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is actually an airless pump that I was using. So it comes in packaging that looks like this originally, so it doesn't have a pump. But I bought these on Amazon, so I just put it in here instead because it makes it a lot more convenient. When I first started using this foundation, I didn't think I liked it that much. It has a lot less coverage than the foundations that I normally go for. And as I started using it more and more, I actually really liked it. I think this is a great winter foundation for me because I tend to get a little bit drier and when I have really high coverage foundations in the winter, they tend to cake up on me. So this actually, once I ran out of this, I went back and I bought it. Oh, and this is the Matte and Poreless formula, by the way. This one I got in 115, which was just a little bit too dark for me. So when I rebought it, I bought it in 112 instead. I'm wearing this today mixed with some of the NYX total control drop things. But I really do like this foundation quite a bit. I think it's a really good one. So I like it. I don't think that this is one that would work very well for me in the summer. I think I would get too oily with it, but I think in the winter it definitely is a great foundation for me. So I'm going to save this pump actually so that I can put that foundation back in there. The next product that I used up is a makeup setting spray. This is the Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio makeup setting spray. This one was okay. I don't know... I don't know that setting sprays really do that much for me, honestly. I had the Scandinavia one that I really, really liked. I did notice a difference with that one. But all these other ones, I don't notice that I've noticed a huge difference. This one, I really like the spray of it. It sprayed very evenly, and even up till the end, it sprayed very nicely. So this, I'm actually going to keep the bottle, and I'm going to put the rest of what I have left in my Smashbox stuff in there because this sprayer isn't really working for me anymore. So I'm going to put it back in here and use that sprayer since that's such a good sprayer. Next up is a palette that I pretty much used up. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Quad in Mad for Mauve. This I worked on finishing up in my Project Pan last year, so I'll leave those videos linked there if you want to check it out. But it was just a lot of pretty mauve light color toned. The one thing that I didn't use up was this green here because even though it swatches decently, it would always just fade away on my eyes, so I just decided to call that good. I know that I probably could save that one shadow for somebody, but this palette is pretty old. I've had this since the early, early stages of my collection. So it's at least five years old. So it's not that expensive of a palette anyway. So if somebody wanted it, they probably could buy it fairly easily. But I'm glad that I used it up. It was a really pretty palette. I probably won't repurchase it because I have so many similar toned colors now. But it was a really nice palette. Next up are two mascaras. I have the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express in Waterproof. This is one of my all-time favorites. I have a new one going already. I always use this one first and then I use another mascara over it. It keeps my curl really well. I don't find that I have that hard of a time getting it off of my eyes and it's just a nice mascara so I will continue to repurchase this. I think this is great. And then I have a sample size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This I really really liked. My problem with it was it started to dry out and flake so it wasn't so much useful anymore for that. Like yeah that's the gross. Okay um, the wand is really big but it was a really nice mascara. It really did make my eyelashes very long and voluminous and very stand out and so I have a full size of this actually. I think that came in a set for my mom but I really did like it. I don't know that I would run out and purchase a full size of it, just because I have two drugstore mascaras right now that I'm using together that I really like so I don't know that I would run out and repurchase another one besides the one I have but I really did like this until it started flaking on me. Next up is a little sample size of the MAC Strobe Cream and this is like a primer, moisturizer type thing. This I liked quite a bit. It was a nice priming, luminizing primer. So I have it on today underneath my foundation. So I'm probably more luminous than I usually am. I found that this was luminous without being too intensely luminous. I really liked it. I don't know that I would run out and buy a full size of it. But I thought it was a pretty good primer and luminizing primer, especially for the winter time. Then I have a powder. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. This was okay. I heard a lot of people say that this was a dupe for a NARS crystal, whatever the pressed powder that they have is. I use this for my under eyes. I did use it under on my whole face occasionally, and it made my face really soft, but it does have a sheen to it. I don't think that I would run out and repurchase this, honestly. It broke on me a couple of different times, and then towards the end, I just like, it was 
breaking off in pieces and it just wasn't working anymore for me so I decided to get rid of it but it was fine I don't think I'd run out and buy another one but it was okay I have two schwa samples that I finished up so schwa if you aren't familiar is basically like a subscription service where you pick out certain samples from high-end products I've unboxed a few different things from them so I will leave a link here if you guys want to check that out so the first one that I had was the hourglass lighting blush in mood exposure this one was like a really light one I don't know if it's how they repressed it or what but this one was just so light that it didn't do anything for me I kind of used it as a blush topper just to use it up but it didn't do anything for me based on the sample I would never purchase a full size of this because it barely showed up on my skin tone so not so much for me and then this one is the Kevin Aquan bronzing veil in tropical days this one was a little bit too dark for me it was a very dark bronzer and so I had to work a lot harder to blend it in I wouldn't purchase a full size of this I don't think I have lots of other bronzers to work through anyway but yeah it was just a little bit too dark for me it wasn't the best for my skin tone and then this one was a little pan that used to be the Lorac Pro Sable color so this is like a reddish tone brown this was one of the few things that I saved from my Lorac Pro palette when I finished panning it in 2015 so if you want to see my pan that palette for that I'll leave that linked here but this I really really like for my eyebrows more than anything I actually have gone back to using this a lot more in my brows because I repurchased the Lorac Pro recently and I love this as a brow color. It is fantastic. So I would highly recommend it if you have kind of reddish brown toned hair. I think it works really well as a brow powder. So unfortunately this one is gone but I have another one so that's good. The last product that I have here is an eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Eyeliner Pencil in Black Velvet. This one I got in some sort of subscription service I think. And there's still a ton of product left, but my problem with this is because it is like the velvet matte type formula, it dried out so badly that it barely goes onto my lid. So every time I try to use it, it's just a fight with it. So I figure I'm just going to get rid of it. It's not worth it to keep it because it tugs at my eyes and it's it's not good. All right, next up I have face care products. So the first thing that I have here is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This I absolutely love. This is the second one I've been through. I have another one in my bathroom. I love this stuff. I find that it is great to take off all of my makeup and that way I'm not wasting like cleansing cloths and things like that. So I like this to take off my makeup and then I do go in with my Clarisonic afterwards. So this isn't the only thing I use because I don't feel like my face would be clean enough if I just use this by itself. I absolutely love this stuff. I think it's great. I'm going to continue to repurchase it. I would definitely recommend this. Next up is a moisturizer. This is the Ola Henriksen Sheer Transformation Facial Cream Moisturizer. This I actually really like. I go back and forth with the Ola Henriksen stuff. I sometimes really like it, sometimes I don't. When I used this stuff up, I think it was really nice on my skin. It didn't make it overly greasy, but it hydrated it well so that it didn't look like my skin was really dry and flaky. So this was pretty good. I don't think I would run out and buy a full size of it. I have a couple of Kate Somerville ones in my bathroom right now, and I ordered a Derma E one as well. So I won't run out and get this, but it did feel nice on my skin during the winter time. The next thing is a sample of the Biore Baking Soda Pore Cleanser. This was a really good cleanser. I had this in my shower and it just was nice and kind of invigorating. I like this line. I think it's good. I would like to try out more from this particular line. I haven't tried out a whole lot from them, but I think it's a really good one. I liked it quite a bit. I also have the Proactive Extra Strength Formula Cleanser. This is the one that I always use. I get their sets. The lotion is the most important thing for me because it helps keep some of my acne away, but I usually use the cleanser with my Clarisonic as well. I only use it at night. It's fine. I don't feel like the cleanser is really crucial to it. The lotion is probably the most important thing, but it's a decent cleanser, I guess. The last thing is something that I'm sad to say that I ended up really liking. This is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans treatment. So everybody on YouTube was talking about this. Sunday Riley is an expensive brand, and I ended up getting this for like $60 because I had a bunch of Birchbox points and like certain coupon codes and things like that. And so I ended up getting it for like $40 off. It's like normally $100, I think. So the thing with this is I hate the smell of it. The smell is really kind of gross. It, yeah, it does not smell good at all. But the product ex itself, once I started using it, I used it like every night because I didn't want to use it too often. So I used it at night most of the time. And honestly, I do feel like it did a nice job of kind of plumping up my face. I noticed that the lines in my forehead were reduced when I used this, and it just seemed like brighter and it felt softer and nicer. So at first I didn't think it was really doing all that much, but I do think it actually did its job. By the time I got done with this bottle, I really did like it, and I'm kind of missing it in my skincare routine, but I just cannot bring myself to pay that much for a normal size of it without all my coupon codes and bonus points and things like that. But it really is good, unfortunately. I hate saying it, but it was really good. So at some point I might cave and buy it again, but probably not in the near future. Next up I have hair care products. So the first thing that I have is this L'Oreal Sleek It Iron Straight Hairspray. This one is supposed to have 3 day sleek and 450 degree protection. 
This I hated. I bought it because I wanted to try something different. The sprayer tended to spray too much and it would get clogged up and gunked up all the time. It didn't spray very well, like if you tried to kind of angle it at all, it didn't spray very well. It just, this didn't do very much for me and I don't feel like it protected my hair that well. So I need to buy a new heat protectant. I think I'm probably gonna go back to the Tresemme one. I really loved that one overall, so. This one was not a winner though. I was not a fan of this one at all. Next up is a sample I got from my Sephora box. This is the Christoph Robin Regenerating Mask. This stunk so bad. I hated the smell of this one and it did make my hair feel nice, but like it smelled so herbally and intensely. It almost gave me a headache and the, the smell stayed in my hair for a long time. So I would never run out and buy a full size of this. I really had to force myself to use it up because I just didn't like the smell that much. So this was not a win by any means. Next up is a hair dye. I've changed it up a little bit. I usually use the Schwarzkopf hair dye, but this one is the Garnier Nutrice Deep Chestnut Brown. So this is the color that I have right now. It's faded out just a little bit, but it was just like a nice reddish brown type color. This was nice, it was fine. I found that this was a lot more drippy. I spilled a lot more on my floor and counter than when I've used my other different hair dyes for a while, so that was unfortunate, but this was overall pretty good and it stayed in my hair pretty well. It hasn't really faded too much. Last hair care product that I have is a dry shampoo. This is the Ava NYC Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. This I got from Octoly this past summer. I liked it okay. It was not my favorite dry shampoo ever. I did find that it left an intense white cast on my hair if I used it the morning of, if I decided that morning that I needed dry shampoo. That was unfortunate and it didn't really work in very well to my hair. I did find that it soaked in the oil pretty well. It had such a white cast that that was kind of a problem. I probably wouldn't repurchase this one again. It was fine. It worked well enough to absorb the oil, but it was just such a white cast that I probably wouldn't buy it again. All right, now I'm kind of down to the random products that I have left. So the first thing that I have is the Victoria's Secret Scandalous Fragrance Mist. These I really like. I have this one, and then I had another one that's in my bathroom right now that my sister gave me when they were on a sale from Victoria's Secret. I really like the smell of them, but they tend to go so fast. Like, the product within the bottle goes really quickly and the smell doesn't stay on you super long. Like, I sprayed the one that I have right now on me and I can almost not smell it anymore and that was only like 20 minutes ago. But I really do like the smell of these when you first spray them. I think they smell really good. They just, I wish they stayed on the body longer. Then I have a deodorant. This is the Dove Advanced Care Clear Tone Sheer Touch Antiperspirant. This is fine. I find that this prevents me from being smelly. It does not prevent me from sweating, but I tend to repurchase the Dove ones over and over again. I don't know. If you guys have any good recommendations for deodorants that you think are the best ones that I should really go for, I haven't really branched out that much. I just always go for the Dove ones, so let me know if you guys have any really good deodorant re recommendations. This I really, really enjoyed. This is the Enlight Flawless Body Skin Like Butter Super Hydrating Body Butter. This packaging I think is adorable. I think it's super, super cute. And all of most of their packaging, I've tried a bunch of stuff from them. And it smells very citrusy, and it is very hydrating, but it blends in pretty quickly so that it's not like you're left tacky for a really long time. This is a brand you can buy at CVS. They sometimes have really good deals, so I bought a bunch of this and light stuff when they had like a 60% off sale with my CVS card. I would buy this again at some point. I really liked the consistency and the smell of it. It's just so expensive by itself. I think it's like $20 or maybe $25 when it's not on a sale. So I don't think I would ever buy this again when it's not on a sale but when it is on sale, I think I would definitely stock up because I really, really enjoyed it. Random sample thing that I have here, I have the Nature's Bounty Hair, Skin, and Nails Gummies with Biotin. These are fine, they were gummy vitamins. I usually use the Andrew Lessman vitamins that I get off of HSN. I find that those do make a difference, like I feel like my hair grows a lot faster when I use those. The only problem is they're super expensive, so I'm sure these are a lot cheaper. They were fine. I just stick to my Andrew Lessman ones most of the time. Then I have a little Glade automatic spray refill. This one is in clean linen, so we have one of those spray things in our laundry room. This is fine. It lasted for quite a while actually, and I like the scent. It's good for a laundry room scent. We bought another two pack of these, so that's good. We don't use these anywhere else in our house besides there, but it automatically sprays like every 36 minutes or whatever, and it works pretty well. Next up, I have three razor blades. So I have the Venus Gillette Embrace razor blade that goes with my Venus razor. These are fine, I like them pretty well. I find that these go pretty quickly though, so for as expensive as the Venus razors are, I feel like they go super, super fast. I do like them while they're nice and fresh, but then, you know, it probably is maybe like two weeks or so before I feel like they're not as effective as they used to be, so that's kind of unfortunate. And then I have two Dorco razor blades. I really enjoy Dorco. Dorco sent me a razor 
that was different from the normal ones that I use. If my camera keeps shifting, it's because my cat's behind my tripod and like moving it. They sent me a different razor than what I was used to using. I was usually using the Dorco 3 plus 3. It was like a pink handled one. And this is the blade that usually goes with it. And so these are the ones that like pivot in the center and they were really nice and they come in these like little carrying cases. These are my favorite blades. I think they are the best, but the handle that I'm using with these right now, it works with these, but I find that it breaks them a lot quicker. So like when I drop them, if I drop them in the shower, like this little piece that connects to the razor has been breaking off. So I've gone through a lot more of the Dorco razors trying to use that particular handle. So I need to go in and order the handle that goes with these blades, the pink ones, because I like it a lot better. And these are definitely the best blades. I find that these last just as long as the Venus ones and they're so, so much cheaper. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave a referral link down below for Dorco's website and it gives you like a 20 or 25% off or something like that. So feel free to use that if you'd like to. It gives you a coupon code. It's totally worth it. They're already pretty cheap, but that extra little bonus code is helpful because it definitely cuts down the price. I also have this one. So these are like the four blade ones, five blade ones, I don't know. These are just like the ones that came with the razor that they sent me. And these I don't like nearly as much. They work for a little while, but I don't think that they're nearly as good as the three plus three blades, the ones that I just showed you. So if I had my choice, I would definitely go for these and then the pink handled one, not the one that goes with this and like the silver handled one, not my favorite. And then the last thing that I have for my empties video this time around is the Arm & Hammer Truly Radiant Clean and Fresh Toothpaste. I usually use the Crest 3D White one and that is ten tends to be my go-to. This I actually really liked though. I didn't think that I would, but I was a big fan of this one. I have one right now that I got in a Walmart box that's like a hello something. That one's not good. I don't feel like my teeth get clean with that one, but this one I really liked. I thought that this one was really good. My teeth felt clean and it worked pretty well. So this one I would look into again. All right, so that is it for my empties videos for this month. I thought I had more stuff, but apparently I didn't. I did have a lot of makeup products though, so. I would love to hear if you guys have finished up anything recently and you have thoughts on them, or if you have any thoughts on any of the products that I shared, let me know that in the comments below as well. I love hearing your guys' thoughts and opinions on the different products. If you do empties videos, let me know that as well, please. I love to watch empties videos. They are some of my absolute favorites and they're some of my favorites to film, so I'm glad that I get to share them with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.